Now this wasn't uh, balling very long yet. Just wanna see the color of the liquid here now. Had this on for a few hours just gonna have a look there now oh yeah see that real good but uh, i'm gonna leave uh, the traps in the boiler overnight and take them out in the morning and then i'm gonna put another boiler full on uh but we got 40 traps in the boiler so i'm gonna do at least three boiler fulls just make sure i got enough traps and i put no big that out year but i'll make sure i got more than enough that i need and i think uh, over time though through the winter i'm gonna do all my traps even the ones I'm not going to use the year and just uh, have them all done, put away for whenever, you know? Yeah, so I had the traps there uh, sitting in the boiler all night and taking them out there now. And I must say, they turned out real good. Uh, those uh, spruce buds, you know, they really help turn the traps black. And as soon as I get these out here now, I'm going to uh, uh, get another batch on. Now that's the that's the first batch of traps done there and uh, here's one that's not done yet just for comparison and i'm just going to put all the traps back in the boiler again same water and then uh, i'll add some uh, fresh uh, spruce twigs and buds i'll throw in some of the old stuff there again but uh, make sure i got uh, some fresh buds there that's what really helps turn them black yeah so i must say looking pretty good but now these that i got done it's gonna Put them a bit close to the fire here, let them dry off through the day, and then they'll be ready to go. And I'm getting a new uh, snowmobile delivered today, so uh, we'll have a little look at her later on. Now, I don't think I'll get so many in the boiler, you know, put them down like this, but uh, but I'll get what I can in there. And, uh, you know, well, just dipping in them ain't going to do no good. I've got to be boiling in it for a while, so I'll count the traps as I put them in, just see what I get there. Got the second batch on there now. Uh, got 35 there this time. Uh, five less than last time. Uh, you know, when the, without the water in the boiler, I was able to put the traps down a little more organized, but, uh, but it's not too bad. Got some fresh uh, twigs and uh, buds put in there as well. And uh, yeah, we'll let that uh, stew away there now for a few hours. <laughs> now for Martins, I can uh, start setting traps tomorrow. So I got my traps ready. Next, I got to get some bait ready, and right here I got some dried capelin, and uh, I'm going to use a combination of capelin and turbot for bait. But now these capelin, I'm going to put them in the smoker and smoke them first. And if you ever want to see a merton wobble his legs, hidden towards your merton box, put smoke fish in there. Now this smoker right here, he's a bit small. Now this one here, he's a little bit too big. But now this one right here is just right <laughs> all right guys right here is uh the salt turbot see it's all pickle here i'm really sure some some of the grease coming to the top there come to the top of the bucket but uh so this is what i'm going to be using salt turbot and smoke capelin for bait now i'm gonna be careful i'm getting on the shed floor here so anyway you'll see me using this tomorrow now I got my traps ready. Uh, my bait is just about ready. Uh, the cable is not smoked yet. And now lure. And these only a little bit lifting down. But I'm using uh, Burns Martin Magic. Uh, so it's two full ones here in a part of this one. And also some green beaver lure. Don't have much of that. I, I'm going to have to go over to Fur Masters and pick up uh, a jar or two of that, I think. So that's the lure that I'll be using. I'm also going to take a line. Uh, a few new stall Merton boxes. I get all my boxes left out, but sometimes, you know, a beer uh, beats a scatter one up, or some of my older ones are getting in kind of rough shape, so I'll, I'll switch them out with a new one. And I'm also going to take along some uh, purvish feathers that I kept from uh, some of the purvishes I got the other day, and I'm hoping to kill a harvest a couple of purvishes tomorrow for food, and I'll, I'll save those feathers and use them on sets as well, and make sure I got my hammer, a uh, bait knife, and a few nails. So Checked on the smoker and there was no smoke coming out of it. And when I looked uh, where the cord plugs in behind us, all burned up there. So I got the capelin in the Big Chief smoker there now. And uh, 
I just put one pan full of chips in it and uh, it's just with Don Dunnell. Well, that's the, that's the Capeland air. I just took them at the smoker and I won't eat all those for tomorrow. And I tell you something else. Oh, short smells good. And the Martins won't be getting all these either. Oh my God, it's so tasty. Like I said before, you know, these Capelin, this is the entire Capelin. Got and everything is still in this Capelin. Oh my God. Oh my. Oh my God, so good. And of course, before I go, uh, I'll show you the, the new snowmobile. And this here is the Scandic uh, super wide track uh, with the 900 Ace. Same as I had before, but uh, this is just uh, the newer model. Uh, you know, uh, people have been asking me to do a review on my last one, and uh, I never did get around to it, but I will this winter. And obviously, I liked her so well, you know, I got another. <laughs> you know, even though there are, there are uh, quite a few differences between this one and the last one, so maybe I'll go over some of that as well. Uh, Maybe some I'll like better, maybe some I, I won't, uh, but that's yet to be determined. <laughs> yeah, we're getting pretty mild weather, so it will probably be a little while before I get the user. Uh, but that's all right. I, I plan to use my old one a little more this winter anyway, and uh, try to keep the mileage down on this one. Uh, I guess the wife will be using this one more than me. And uh, I could have went with just the black cab, but I went with the red and the black and you know, whatnot. Uh, yeah, I find it look real slick. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I said I was going to show her, so, so I get that in the video. Now, before I forget about it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to go and uh, hit the sack all the same. I want to get up bright and early and get out uh, sitting traps. And I'm going to have a, a good long day at it. The wife actually got to leave uh, Tuesday for when, uh, for meetings. So, uh, so I want to get a real good day in tomorrow. I guess that's it for this one, though, guys. I really appreciate y'all watching. Take care. All the best from the big land.